Welcome back. This is still Why in the Morning. Like always, you can interact with us on our socials, and that includes uh, Instagram and on Facebook and on Twitter at uh, Y254 channel. On Instagram, it's Y254 underscore channel. By the way, we are verified with a blue check mark. You can check us out as well. But uh, you can interact with us on the conversation uh, on the hashtag, which is Y in the morning. This is Y254, but now Y in the morning. But personally, you can check me out at uh, Brian Soko 101 on all my social media platforms as well. Now, right here on this segment, uh, we're going to talk about matters forex trading. What exactly is it and what does it take to actually take on that journey so that you become a forex trader? What are some of the nitty gritties and even the history behind forex trading? And definitely you love it. Here's where you take a pen and paper and move close to your TV because you're about to get schooled. And uh, joining us uh, live in studio, but though we've also posted uh, we posted our photo right on social media. Where are you watching from? Tell us. We'll be sampling your feedback towards the tail end of the show. But uh, live in studio with us is uh, Washira Kariuki. He is from Windsor Brokers. He's also the head of training and research. He's going to actually take us to the journey of Forex trading. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you, Brian. Pleasure You're to welcome. Thank you for having me. Right. How are you feeling? Very well, very well. <laughs> Said it for the first here. time on TV. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh -huh. Happy to be here. Pleasure. There's people who get extremely nervous, <laughs> but I uh, see you're calm and collected. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get into it straight up. You know, for you know, many stories have been told. You know, about forex trading, right. and I love, I love the fact that you know today we are speaking to an expert who can actually paint for us a picture of what exactly is it for a person who is watching right now and they have no idea what forex trading yeah, is. Yeah. Uh, how could you define it to them? Uh, forex trading is a uh, most modern, most uh, effective, most convenient way to access global markets, trade and access global markets worldwide. And uh, from the comfort of your home, you're able to uh, take positions in the global market, of course, okay. assuming you have the right understanding okay. and knowledge of the market. And uh, hopefully you're able to make and generate an income yeah. from taking those particular positions. We call it trading. That's mm -hmm. why it's called trading effects. Right. So the reason we are very excited about it is and happy about it to talk about it is to encourage more people to get into the market, discuss right. it, uh, get trained, uh, participate in it, because it doesn't matter from 18 to 80 years old, you can participate in this market. There's no age limit, gender, religion, position, geography. There's no limitations whatsoever. It's truly right. the definition of the 21st century global village. And uh, right. If there's an income to it, I think this is the best time to get into it. Right. Right. Now, um, the biggest the biggest question is now, how can I get into it and become a forex trader? Because Correct. also most of the stories that have been told about forex trading, yeah. uh, some of them are controversial. Correct. <laughs> but a lot uh, have a good ending, <laughs> or still continue to have a good a good ending. Correct. Now, for a person who is watching and they want to venture into it, how do they go about it? Yeah. Uh, so, like you said, understandably so, there has not been enough knowledge, enough uh, understanding about the business. And that's why there's maybe been that kind of a problem. But we're happy to say between the regulator and the brokers coming into the space, right. there's been a lot of alignment, a lot of uh, qualifications, a lot of understanding, a lot of trainings which have really helped the business. So right. to get the business is quite simple, Brian. You just go to our website or any website really, but ours is probably the best, windsorbrokers.com, right. right? You just type in and key in your email address and your telephone number, upon which we just pick up that information and we call and follow up uh, right. to help you finish your registration. Right. Remember, we are under the auspices and the umbrella of the Capital Markets Authority. They are the regulator for this particular business. Oh, that is right. the regulator. Correct. CMA. CMA. Correct. Okay. So I'm happy and proud to say Windsor Brokers is licensed. Uh, we are based in Park Place Building on 2nd uh, on second, uh, second Avenue, Parklands. Right. On your way to Aga Khan Hospital, uh -huh. uh, we are in that building right there. You are, we are open to you can come visit us, talk right. to us, meet us, ask questions in person. Visit our offices. We are very happy to tell you that we are physically located in the right. country. So again, back to answer your question uh, cl with clarity. Uh, you, just, the, you don't need to come to offices, but if you just go to our website and register, right. just say click open an account. Mm -hmm. Open an account, that, uh, uh, you just put in key in your, your telephone number and okay. your email address. And then you upload your ID and your PIN. Right. And the reason is, just like trading shares, which is uh, probably what most Kenyans at least have a bare minimum understanding of, right. you require to have a CDS account for shares. In the same way- A in CDS account meaning? For shares. No, I'm saying I'm drawing parallels. So okay. CDS is for shares. You All need right. to have a trading account okay. in FX or in global markets as I like mm -hmm. to call it. Mm -hmm. So we, we require your ID and your PIN uh, for authentication purposes right. and to make sure that we are able to capture your details right. and we make sure that it's the person opening the account is the one who is trading it. 
All right. So outside of that, you're up and running. In five minutes, Brian, you can have your account ready, ready to be funded and ready to trade. Just your ID and your PIN. And you just uh, the first thing you do is you give us your telephone number so that we're able to get back to you, right. call you, follow up, and assist you. Right. And your email address. That's it. That's it. And that is on your website that you mentioned. It's Correct. Windsor? Windsorbrokers.com Windsor Brokers. is the name of our website. Uh, okay. In Kenya, we go under the business name Windsor Markets because we are all a right. subsidiary of the mother company. But yeah. by and large, for all intents and purposes, we focus and use the word uh, WindsorBrokers.com. All right, fantastic. Right. Right. Now, also, there's the issue of transparency and trust. You know, uh, you just can Google a site and then all of a sudden you're logging in and giving mm -hmm. your ID and your PIN. Correct. How can someone um, decipher between, you know, this could be a scammer yeah. and now this is a legit uh, forex trading website like fantastic. yours now? Yeah, yeah, sure. Good question. Very important. Legitimacy really is a foundation of trust. All right. And so the, how this works is, one, you need to check if the broker you're dealing with is licensed. You don't oh, even yeah. go to our website, just go to CMA, the Regulators Authority. There's an entire list of nine brokers who are currently licensed. Oh, the only nine in Kenya? The only nine in Kenya. Uh -huh. right? it, and you're among them? We're among them, yes. Okay. And actually, we've been in Kenya for almost uh, 17 years plus. Personally, uh -huh. I've been with Windsor Brokers for 14 years plus. Mm -hmm. right? That's uh, a decade. Yeah, it's a decade plus, them. yes. Uh -huh. I go, I've, I've seen the evolution of the business, and I'm mm -hmm. happy and excited that now it's becoming mainstream. The average Kenyan can participate in the market. Mobile trading is available. Training is happening. Physical offices are happening. Symposiums and expos and events right. are happening. We are now going to the clients. Like we are about to have an event in Mount Kenya University from right. Monday the 5th to Friday the 9th. Anybody listening and has the time and willingness and wishes to meet us in person, they can indulge us and come over to Mount Kenya University, which is in Thika, from the right. 5th to 9th, which is next week, Monday to Friday. Okay. We're going to be setting up camp there, meeting the students, engaging them, discussing, opening accounts, training them in person, mm -hmm. basically making sure there's enough uh, appreciation of the business opportunity that uh, FX portends and stands right. for. So yeah, uh, one of them, so first, confirm the broker you're dealing with is licensed. There are right. a lot of unlicensed brokers. You have no uh, recourse should your money get lost or there's a challenge or there's a problem. So we are bound by the laws of the country, of the land, all right, and we operate under the regulation of CMA, right. which means we have ticked some boxes regarding authenticity, structure, management, licensing operations, and licensing, licensing and stuff like that, right? Okay. Number two, we have a physical office. Visit the broker, meet them in person, right. All right? Mm -hmm. Like when you give us your details, your telephone number, we call you up, right? We right. start engaging you with a Kenyan, right? And we help you, support you regarding the problem, the challenges you may have, your problem uploading your pin, your ID maybe is not clear, whatever the case. So, and more importantly, we work with you. We don't, we don't just open an account. We right. interact with you, we support you, and then we work with you in the entire journey of learning effects, trading effects, and any other issues that may arise on the fly. We're happy to serve you. So yeah, confirm the broker you're dealing with is authentic, is legit, is licensed, is yeah. fully operational, is willing and able to serve you, and more importantly, they're doing it in a way that leaves you feeling that you've truly been assisted regarding understanding the business and participating in the business. Right. Correct. Wow, fantastic. Now, uh, to walk us through the journey of now a person yeah. who has now already signed right. to your website Correct. and now they want to start yeah. trading. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Before you actually demonstrate to us, we'll, we'll reach there at some point. Absolutely. Now, for a, a newly recruit yeah. uh, that has finally now gotten a chance to work with Windsor, right. uh, take us through the journey of now, you know, the begin uh, slowly by slowly. Yeah. What is the first step now they get to now start trading? Fantastic. Right. Yeah. So the first step is uh, log into the website, like I said, just to recap. Uh, give us your email address and your telephone number. If you can, at that point in time, you should upload your ID and your PIN for the mm -hmm. purposes. It's called verification purposes. PIN now, this is KRA. K KRA PIN, correct. Okay. Right. If you don't have one, you just go to the website, our KRA website, and just uh, feed in your details. You'll okay. get a new one issued to you immediately. Right. All right. That's just, it's called uh, know your client documentation. It's just proof of residence and uh, proof of identity, okay. which is necessary. And uh, actually, it's regulator required. All right. So once we have your details at that point in time, number one, we call you at this point in time. We okay. engage you as a person in case you've not finished your documentations. We help you finalize. We work with you. We don't let you do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. The second process is that uh, we then ask, what exactly are you a competent trader? Are you an ongoing trader? Are you a learner? Are you a beginner? All right. And if you're a beginner, which is generally the case, as we've noticed in Kenya, we then add you to training classes. All right. We tell you we, we have the trainer call you. Uh, we then tell you when the classes are. The classes are daily. They are all online. You don't have right. to come physically. You just click a link and engage with us online. Uh, then after that, we're able to give you tutorials. Remember, we, te we send you the link where we have curated and put all the videos of the trainings together. Right. Right? It's on our website. We call it education. Education is a very key cornerstone of Windsor Brokers because we understand yeah. this is someone new. They are curious about it. They have heard about it. They are interested about it. But they, the first thing is to get the proper information, well-structured, well-composed, 
information on how FX trading operates as a concept, right. as a bare minimum. After mm -hmm. that, you now fund your account, uh -huh. right? And we have various ways of funding your account, M-Pesa, yep. card, bank transfer. We have pretty much connected and partnered with all uh, money transfer services. And uh, funding your account should not take more than five minutes if you have the money in your M-Pesa. The yeah. minimum amount we take in our accounts is $20. With $20, you're able to start taking positions. So right. at this point in time, number then last but not least, and this is a very crucial part, yep. you then go, so you have the educational materials, you have your account which has been verified, mm -hmm. uh, you're watching the tutorials and the videos on our website, and even the trainer is calling you and guiding you through daily classes. You, then, you can then log into our portal and get uh, our research, updated research on a day-to-day -day basis. We right. don't just let our clients figure it out by themselves. Right. even after opening the account. We do and conduct proper research. Right. We send this research as an email. In case you don't have an email or you forgot to check your email, you can log into the portal in real time right. and see what our research stands, what our outlook. For in terms of, of one of your history, some of the successes exactly. and whatnot. Yes, right. we're able to show you what our daily analysis for various asset classes mm -hmm. and so that we're able, to, uh, we're able to, we're just trying to assist you right. make a better decision on yeah. how to go about your trading. We're not mm -hmm. allowed to trade, that's very important. On your behalf. Yes, brokers okay. just facilitate the market. Okay. We provide the market, we are the access point to the market. We do not trade for our clients. So right. they're, they're supposed to learn enough to be able uh -huh. to make an intelligent and rational decision. And that's why okay. we go supporting them uh, using research in addition to what they're learning. So that at the point in time they're making the decision on right. what to trade and mm -hmm. how to trade, they're at least backed up by a lot they of information. They have information. And right. research, and we continue to work with our clients on the same on a digital basis. Right. Uh, right. Sounds like a super transparent <laughs> deal. <laughs> is, now, speaking of deal, you've right. mentioned of money. Yeah. Uh, you said minimum is two thousand. Uh, Twenty dollars. Uh, Twenty dollars. Yeah. Sorry, uh, for a person who is coming in and they have expectation. Of course, the expectation is I want to make money. Right. Like ASAP. <laughs> uh, everybody wants this thing. Wants to make money. Correct. Now uh, here you are talking about you know you should come with twenty US dollars. Correct. And you know people expect you know I'm I'm just gonna sign up and then Kidogo, some magic is gonna happen and then yeah. I'm gonna make money. Yeah. But now here you have to have your own money. Now for a person who doesn't have it, uh, how can they do? Well, uh, we are offering, a good question, Brian. We are offering something called a promotion bonus. A promotion? Uh, a deposit bonus. A deposit Which bonus. is a promotion okay. actually. Okay. Basically, it's, it was created with the understanding that some clients may not A, have their money, mm. B, not willing to put in their money initially. So right. when you sign up and we can see you're clearly interested, you truly wish to learn, right? We give you our money, $30, all right? It's called the $30 promotion oh. bonus. Uh -huh. Initially, and we credit it to your account upon request, all right? Okay. You have to request for it on the portal. At the point in time where you're signing up, you okay. can request for that bonus. And uh -huh. we are happy to credit that amount to your account. It's right. meant to stimulate your excitement, encourage you to learn. Okay. It's meant to show you the reality of the business yeah. because ultimately you're trading money and you have to have some capital. Remember, we also okay. have demo trading. Oh, right. this demo, this demo, which is a $50,000 account, we, it's free money, but it's, ab it's able to duplicate and uh, uh, duplicate the, con the conditions of the real market. So you're able okay. to accept it's not real money, it's practice right. money, mm -hmm. right? So it's not real money. So, so it's can, not withdrawable. It's, not, it's, not sure withdrawable. it's a dummy. It's a dummy account, actually, right. that's the right one. Okay. But it duplicates and replicates the entire real market. So okay. that is created and given to traders. So they're able to learn to create a system and a process, understand right. how the market works, come up with a system and get a feel of the market and right. start trying to understand how to navigate the market before they put in their own money. Wow. At the point in time they want to put in their money, we even put in the $30, right? right. Or you put in the $20 and we add the $30. Right. So you have a lot more, a bit more capital to start to off start your journey. Exactly. So we are, we are mm -hmm. trainers, we are guiders, we are researchers. On mm -hmm. top of that, we still give you some sum of money to start the, tra the learning process. Yeah. And you still have the demo where you can comprehensively uh, like curate your skills. from. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Right. And at least be able to comprehensively understand how to go about this business. Right. Does it work? How does it work? Mm -hmm. You know, and stuff like that. The difference is you cannot withdraw the oh, demo. you can't withdraw the, the demo. The dummy, yeah. The dummy okay. is not real. But even the $30, once you start trading and you yeah. put in your own money now, you're now able to start uh, understanding the deposit and the withdrawal aspect of the business. Right. right. So just for structure, it's important to understand the structure of uh, the business effects and how it works. Right. Now, let's get to the trading part before you right. demonstrate to us. Yeah. You know, somebody could be wondering, what am I trading? <laughs> it's Forex trading, yeah. yes. Yeah. But what exactly am I trading? 
And here you are, uh, you've been asked to deposit $20 uh, and also $30 from your side. Right. Now, how is this trading? What is happening? What are some of the nitty gritties behind this trading? Okay, okay. All right. All right. So this now, let's get into the technicals of it. So All right. uh, trading, participating in FX is basically plugging into the global market, mm -hmm. right? If you are to take all the stock exchanges worldwide, the New York Stock Exchange in the US, the Japanese Stock Exchange, mm -hmm. the Australian Stock Exchange, the London Stock Exchange, all those are markets worldwide, right? And Nairobi as well, the N NSE? No, it's not big enough as yet. Uh, NSE right? is not big? Not quite, right? Okay. We have South Africa, which is participated. The South Africa currency is tradable in our markets, oh. right? And so you are able to plug into those markets without ever moving from where you are, and right. we have taken the time and trouble to aggregate that entire market and right. put it on one platform, right? And it's accessible 24-7, five right. days a week from Monday to Friday. Right. Because it's a global market. The, the truth of the matter is that it's, it's, a, it's an assembly of geography. So in the morning, it's called the Far East. Asia is when the market, is, well, that's where the sun rises, right? In the mm -hmm. Far East, in Japan. So mm -hmm. they are the first to open. At that point in time, we are asleep. At 8 a.m. when we wake up, yeah. That's when now they're going to bed, right? right? Then now the London and the European segment of the market picks up. In right. the afternoon and late evening, the US, the West kicks in. So the sun is setting here. It's rising in the US. So yeah. what the FX does, it follows the market. Mm -hmm. Whoever is awake, the market mm -hmm. is being moved. So it's an algorithm? Not really. It's an assembly of all the markets provided. Okay. Now, I'm saying that because you don't know who is, who is moving which what but you're right. able to see the market is moving. And that fluidity and that connection of all the spheres and all the continents right. makes the market 24 hours. And now you, here you have, you have a curve that shows that. Correct. So the market is available now to trade. There's a platform you download from okay. the website. It's called the MT4 trading platform MT4. on the Windsor. Yeah, MT4. Uh, it's MT4. Just, it's a, just a trading platform okay. to not make it too complicated. You right. go to once, the same way you download and give us your details and upload your ID and your PIN, is the same way you download the trading platform from right. our website. It's right. two minutes, it's free, right? And we have even taken time, by the way, to develop an app, right, called Windsor Brokers Trading App, uh, mm -hmm. for which you're able to access your account on the fly, on the go, from your phone, right? right? So you and can monitor everything. And it? monitor everything, know what's mm -hmm. happening, research, we still post it there. You right. can access your account, you can deposit, you can withdraw from the app, right? Yeah. And you can also trade from the platform, right? right? And uh, so we have tried to make it as integrated as possible, as light as possible, and as convenient as possible. Right. Uh, so that when you come to the trading now, and because now, like I say, the trading is, the market is available 24 hours. Right. Everything is moving every single day, five days a week, right? right. Because the market opens at 1 a.m. on Monday. Right. 1 a.m. our time when we are asleep. Mm -hmm. It goes all the way to Friday midnight. Okay. At midnight, it shuts. Right. Waiting for Monday again to kick in. Right. right. When Japan opens, now the market kicks in. But you, you're not concerned with those issues. Right. You're just looking at one central port, as I'll show you and illustrate, right. and you're able to see what's happening with the market. Right. I hope I've, I've explained Definitely. it Definitely. Uh, we've gotten an overview of that. For now, that. as you continue trading, right. uh, does it mean you continue depositing more money? Uh, or once you deposit the $20, right. and the magic continues to happen? Correct. That is your initial capital. If you okay. wish to deposit more because you wish maybe to take more positions, you wish to trade more items, then it's advisable you put in more capital, all right? Yeah. Uh, but generally, you only deposit because you want to deposit, not because it's a requirement of the platform. Right. But generally speaking, remember the limitations. There's only so much you can do with $20, okay. right? So the limitations on the things you can trade, if you have many positions, you're not, there are limitations to that. Right. Generally, the more capital you have, the better it is for you right. in terms of flexibility, right? right? Interesting. Now, um, uh, from the from from our perspective, where you know uh, somebody has now made a successful uh, trade, right? Or uh, possibly, how much could be <laughs> for a successful one? How much is the biggest, and how much is <laughs> the smallest amount? Good yeah. question, Brian. And that's a very subjective question. Right. It depends. For example, and I'll give again. Let me use the stock exchange for best example. You buy a share of I don't know Bamburi at ten shillings, mm -hmm. right? One person will hold it, assuming it's, go it's appreciating in value. It goes all the way to fifty. Mm -hmm. Another person just wants it to go to 12 shillings from 10. Another person will be okay with it going to 20 shillings. All right. So different traders have different risk appetites and also different expectations. You've There's called no it risk, yeah. risk, risk appetite. appetite. Yes. Like how much are you willing to, to put in per trade? Right? Uh -huh. How long are you willing to hold that position? Mm -hmm. Remember, because the market is open. 
Right. The market is open and it's available to anybody. So you can put in a position, take a position today, and you can hold it for six months. Right. Another person wants to hold it by the end of the hour. Another person, after five minutes, they, are, they want to exit. And that's a beauty about the FX market. Right. It's liquid. So you can pretty much do whatever. You can want to enter and exit after a minute, we'll do that. That's on you. Open a ah. position, close a position. Exactly, right. it's on you. Which mm -hmm. is exactly where the part of education, understanding, right. guidance and support from a broker makes a big difference. And right. that's what we really focus on. Because once you have the knowledge, how you utilize and apply that knowledge is up to you. Right. That, that part is open-ended and different clients have different expectations right. and ideas on how to go about it. At least with the training, it gives you uh, more understanding on how to best go about it. But how they go about it is personal preference. Right. Right. I have like two questions and then we can get to the demonstration uh, part. Um, yeah. Now for, in terms of, uh, there's been a lot of stories, yeah. <laughs> let me say that. Uh, or as case, you somebody, I bought a bot, B-O-T, right. uh, and then I got scammed. Oh. Okay, doggo, doggo, the person is not available anymore. Right. They're they are not in reach. Yeah. And here you are, you've given this person 10,000 10, Kenya shillings right. and they're now missing in action. And then somebody, uh, in other story, somebody bought that bot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> bought a bot, went to try to do some trading, it backfired, and then they went on social media. <laughs> oh, this guy yeah. has been scamming us. There's yeah. a history of viral forex scammers. What exactly is happening in okay. that space? Fantastic. Good question, Brian. I'll answer that question uh, in multiple ways. The first is that the regulator has come in and put in clearly, he has clearly stipulated the structure of what what how this business should operate yeah. right you don't get to trade anybody else's money mm -hmm. unless you're a licensed fund manager okay. so there's clear regulation on who should trade for people and right. then there's clear regulation on how brokers should operate right. all right so the issue of delegating your trading to a third party has been clearly addressed as right. uh, but i'm happy that there's more people now who know that you're supposed to open your own account fund your own account trade your own account and that's why we teach and train right all right number two regarding bots to be more specific right as a general rule, I always, we, we try to tell people to as much as possible learn instead of trying to short circuit the process and get a shortcut. Right? Right. Generally speaking, if someone is selling you a bot that right. makes money, it doesn't make sense because if the bot makes money, then that person should just use it to make money. Right. They don't need to sell it. Right. For the, sorry, for the yeah. purpose of clarity, for yeah. a person who doesn't understand what a bot is, ah, please right. uh, explain yes, to yes, them. Yes, yes. A bot is short for robot. Right. Right? A robot is generally, more often than not, it's an automated system Right. that f plugs into the trading platform to find trades on behalf of the trader, right. execute and take positions, and mm -hmm. close those positions. You have basically right. delegated the, the learning process. You're saying, I want this trade. The, basically, the bot decides what to trade, decides when to trade, trades, and decides when to close that trade. Right. Essentially, yes. it takes the entire trading process away from the trader and right. is an external mechanism yeah. taking decisions by itself. And on your automated. behalf. On your behalf. Is it be risky? Extremely, uh -huh. in my opinion. However, granted, let me qualify that statement. Granted, there are institutions who have perfected the art of bots, right? These are hedge funds and very large institutional uh, banks, Goldman Sachs, uh, the, the big guys, right? right. CT, uh, any big guy, right? Douche Bank uh, and hedge funds, Citadel right. Capital and the rest, right? Mm. They, c they have very intelligent traders and very intelligent programmers, and they keep on tweaking these systems Right, to better find, for lack of a better word, efficiencies in the market where yeah. they're able to take an edge and be able to trade more efficiently. Mm -hmm. All right, now right. they don't sell those because, for simple reason, they are proprietary, they are owned, controlled, and adjusted by them, and right. they are not created for public use. So, it can be manipulated just in case somebody sells you, that yeah. Kind of, uh, uh, it, uh -huh. it may not be so. Like I said earlier, when we were having that discussion, very, inter very interesting discussion, you cannot right. delegate the concept of learning to trade to a third party. As right. much as possible, you need to learn yourself. Okay. Right. Number two, uh, bots uh, generally can be manipulated, but not for the benefit of the trader. The trader. Right. Yeah. And sometimes those bots are very inaccurate because they right. don't understand human sentiment and emotion, yeah. and the market is driven by supply and demand. However, yeah. to answer that question now, how we've dealt with that problem, uh -huh. as Windsor brokers, we are proud and happy to say we are about to roll out something called copy trading, uh -huh. which is going trading. to be a very important substitute for clients who do not wish to learn to okay. trade, all right? So you're able to open an account and link your account to someone who is, uh, has the competency, mm -hmm. right? So we'll give you a wide array of traders. You right. choose because you have the entire history of their performance. Okay. Select who you think is best and suitable for you right. and link your account to them. 
Right. When they trade, uh -huh. that trade will be duplicated in your account. Right. Now that so you're able not to get the correct. results of the trade. Exactly. Even if it's money exactly. getting to so your account. So it's a robot, but right. it's not really robot. Right. It's a robot in the sense that you didn't trade, someone right. else is trading. But actually mm -hmm. we're just duplicating trades from one account into another. To and another. the regulator has licensed this okay. and has given this a node of consent and ah. it's up, uh, up and running. And now you're privy to being scammed if you have no awareness of what you're talking about. Correct. All right. Uh, we have like four minutes to it's go. Okay. Yeah, so sure, please sure. Uh, show us how to trade. Absolutely. Uh, I hope they'll be able to capture that. Definitely they will. So it's going to show us how to trade. Uh, continue interacting with us on our social media. Hashtag Y in the morning, Y244 channel on the gram, underscore on the gram. Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter as, uh, sorry, on the gram is already Instagram anyway, at Y244 channel. We are also on TikTok at Y244 channel, personal at Brands on. We are good to go now? Yes, we are. Right, so you can definitely demonstrate um, to us. Let me just uh -huh. uh, link internet okay. to the portal. So uh, you've mentioned also a trading app. So this yeah. means now you already have a system on your laptop? Correct. So I've taken, right. I've already downloaded the trading platform, Okay. number one. After downloading the trading platform, uh, I'm saying the app is something on your phone you can use to access your trading account. Right. Quite simple. Okay. Right? Uh, yeah, I want to tether. Oh, you have internet? Yeah, yeah sure, sure. Because one of the things you always need is internet, by the way. Absolutely. So the only thing you require to access your account, account is internet. Is if you internet. have data on your phone, you can right. trade. If you have can internet trade. on your laptop, you can trade. Right. All right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So how do I show this? Uh, uh, the capture it, so you can just go ahead. Uh, oh, really? Moment you start uh, the capture. Okay. Right. So basically, this is the market, by and large. Mm -hmm. Right? This is the market. Uh, these are the things to trade. All right? So we have currencies which is uh, EURUSD, GBP, USD, AUD, USD. It's quite simple. We also have commodities. We have currencies. We have metals. We have shares. We even have shares. Okay. This is the price of Boeing. is at $203 per share. Cisco, 49 eBay. All right. This is all available on our platform. We have uh -huh. basically aggregated the entire global markets. Okay. Right, and from the comfort of your phone or your laptop, you're yeah. able to access the market. Yeah. I don't know if you're able to, like, maybe sure. uh, turn your laptop yeah, okay. on this Let me know so how to do it. Uh, maybe camera one can uh, be uh, able to. I turn it that. around. Yeah, sure. You can be able to yeah, sure. uh, point, pinpoint it on this other side, okay. so that they're able to do it. Uh, I think like you, if do you're able to, to be in a position to stand, yeah, sure. uh, that would be fine. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, sorry. All right. All right. Happy to have to explain right. it. Uh, sure. Yeah, you can proceed. All right. So All basically, these are the charts. So this just shows you the minute by minute movement of various things, right? right? These are the things to trade, and if you just look at them, all right, uh -huh. right. So these are currencies, right? Uh, these are precious metals. These are shares. Down here, this is a price Cisco, uh, right? All these are shares, right? All these are Fortune 500 shares that you can trade from our platform, okay. all right? There are so many. Then there are indices, then there are commodities, there are futures. We have aggregated so many asset classes. I'll not get into the complicated conversation of it. Right. That's why we have training. But the point is, all this information is then translated into a chart. Okay. Right? And you can just decide whether to buy or to sell. If you okay. think the price is going to go up, you click buy, mm -hmm. and the trade is out automatically executed. Right. If you think the market is going sell, you just click sell, and you automatically are in the market. Right. It's extremely flexible, extremely easy. Right. And all you require is just guidance, understanding, right. because you can do this on your platform, on your phone, on your laptop, on a tablet, 24 hours a day. Yeah. The market is always available. Now, for, for the back end of this, uh, do you yeah. already like have money in the account? Uh, like initially for you now, what, how much did you deposit for, I, for this trade? Well, uh, so we have multiple accounts, right? Oh. So uh, as head of research and training, obviously, I also have access to accounts. Definitely. So while it's true that we as Windsor brokers are not allowed to trade, we have other Oh, you're accounts. not allowed we're to not trade. allowed to trade by regulation. In okay. fact, just like a broker is not allowed to trade for clients, uh -huh. uh, the staff are also very limited. Nonetheless, uh -huh. we are able and willing to guide you through every aspect of trading, mm -hmm. right? I personally, also, I've been, I'm a trader. I continue to be a trader. Right. right, but I'm able to illustrate every aspect of trading and help my traders become better. Remember, when right. we are training, and this is very important to understand, part of training that right. Windsor does is a correction of phase. Right. We're able to check your progress and we're able to tell you what we think you can do better, right. point out the mistakes, and help you become a better trader. Right, right, and so we, it's a very integrated process, yeah. uh, and we we have seen the increase in number of participants. Like I said, we have an event in Mount Kenya University. Right. Next week, I suggest anybody around Thika. Next week, Next week, Monday to Friday. We'll oh, be Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday. Weekly. We'll be in Mount Kenya University. Okay. Uh, 5th to 9th of June, right? Okay. Uh, assisting those students. There's so much curiosity and excitement about markets uh, right. from Mount Kenya University. Mm -hmm. And so we decided to set up shop. We are going right. to train them, guide them, open accounts, assist them. 
We're going to take them through the portal, right? right. How do you get daily recommendations? Because we're not just right. letting you, okay, this is the market now. You go figure it out. No, no, no. no. Uh -huh. If you go to our portal, you're able to see what's happening regarding daily updates, right? Real-time research. This is what we think is happening to this thing. If you decide to take the trade, fine. If you don't decide to take the trade, fine. Uh -huh. Right? But we are very clear on supporting our traders regarding the decision-making process because right. that is essentially the cornerstone of profitable trading. Right. You need to know what to, you're doing. Okay. You need to know what to trade and when to trade. Right. So we train you, but more importantly, we guide you through the mm -hmm. portal uh, in real-time research. And right. uh, that's one of the most... Uh, we've not upgraded our... Windsor Brokers, by the way, I think I've not talked enough about Windsor Brokers. Uh -huh. We are 34 years old, turning 35 years old. Uh -huh. We're one of the world's oldest brokers. Okay. We upgraded our portal so that we're able to serve our clients better. All right. And we've seen an increase in participation because of that. All right. Thank you, Brian. I'm, to I'm told we are out of time. But now for any person who wants to reach out to you and maybe enroll yeah. and uh, get to experience your workshop, how can they go about it? Just Do you have like a number, website? Uh, this is your camera. You can yes, yes, uh, yes. give them the details. Absolutely. Uh, we have a number. Okay, you can just call me directly. Uh, my number is 0728-731-861, Washira. I'll then lead you and link you to our, our staff who will assist right. you. Uh, regarding uh, opening an account, we are happy to assist you. You can also come to our offices at Park Place Building. Park Place Building is on Limuru Road, uh, and also we'll contact you through using our normal office line. But I think for now, the number I have off the top of my head is my number: zero seven two eight seven three one eight six one Washira Windsor Brokers. Come visit us, call me, and I'll guide you and assist you on how to open an account. And hopefully, I'll also add you to my training group, and I can guide you and assist you on learning, and hopefully. It can be a worthwhile investment going forward for you. Absolutely. Thank you. Fantastic. Uh, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yeah. All right. We have been speaking to our uh, Shira Kariuki. He's uh, Windsor Brokers Head of Training and Research, talking to us about matters forex trading. And if you're curious and didn't know how to go about it, definitely you've learned something. And like he said, they have an, an event happening at Mount Kenya University. He's given his number. Definitely reach out to him and get to plug in and do matters for trading. On this note, we're going to take a very short break, but you can continue to interact with us on that hashtag, why in the morning, at y for channel, everywhere on all our social media, at Brian Sakwano and Thus Minds. Definitely, we are coming back with much more. Stick around.